Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my review of this E63 AMG. For those of you new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I really hope you enjoy it. And if you like this kind of content with some random car reviews and videos of my own cars, a Ferrari 360 Modena and a couple of AMG Mercedes, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at this 2006 E63 AMG. This is currently for sale at the Old Timer Center. I'll leave a link in the description. And in this video, we're gonna have a look around the outside, have a detailed look at the interior, and then we're gonna get it out on the road and see what it's like to drive. This is a very handsome beast, isn't it? This is the W211 version of the E-Class, and this is the top of the range E63 AMG with a naturally aspirated 6.2 litre V8. So the initial version of this car started off with the 5.5 litre supercharged V8, which is the same engine in my SL55. Uh, click on the pop-out banner above for the playlist for that car. For the model year 2007, they upgraded the engine, or some people would say downgraded the engine, to the uh, naturally aspirated 6.2 litre M156 engine, which is the same engine as is in my uh, C63. So this has interesting mix of uh, components between my two AMG cars. Uh, I love the hood ornament, something that's missing on a lot of the more modern AMGs, but it really adds a touch of class to this car. The front splitter is more aggressive than the one that was on the E55. Uh, just gives that little bit more sporty look. It is such a handsome car. Beautiful proportions, nice styling cues there with that uh, line across the middle of the doors, just adding a little bit of class to it. The sills are very sculpted and beautiful. Coming round to the rear, we have the traditional quad exhaust pipes for the AMG models. The AMG badging, again little touches of silver on the boot there just to add that extra special touch. The light clusters are, as always with Mercedes, very beautiful. We've got LED components there in the top. Just beautiful styling. You've got this kind of swage line that runs across the top of the doors from front to back. The 6.3 litre AMG badging there, just reminding everybody what's under the hood. Again, very interesting design of the headlights here with these kind of slats. Just adds that extra bit of interest. They do need a little bit of a recondition on that surface, but that's something that can be easily done. This one doesn't have the Distronic cruise control. There would normally be a little panel here if it had the Distronic. Just a really beautifully proportioned car. This is kind of the ideal model between the C-Class and the S-Class, which is the luxury class. This E-Class kind of combines elements of both. It's not as uh, expensive, uh, and as luxurious as the S-Class. So a really nice compromise. So let's take a quick look under the bonnet. Ingenious device here on Mercedes where you pull that to lift up the bonnet. As before with my recent review of the CLK 63, click on the pop-out banner for that. We have the M156 engine here. I'll put the power figures on the screen. We've got, uh, you can see the hoses here for the airmatic suspension. Kind of like the ABC, but using air instead of hydraulic fluid. Generally a little bit more reliable, I understand. The boot is a really good size. 
low loading lip here which is excellent goes back a long way and you can even put the back seats down to extend the loading space so it's really quite practical and you've got these lovely features here shopping hooks you can hang your shopping bags on there two of those and these are your levers for um, putting the seats down remotely so you don't have to go in the car so now we've had a look around the outside let's take a look at this beautiful amg interior we see that we've got really nice quality materials here we've got a, a wood inlay here with a little silver trim piece here which just sets that off beautifully glad to see the controls on the door for the for the for the seats that's such a great mercedes feature you've got your mirror controls here and obviously window switches and a remote boot release there and Har harman kardon um, stereo got this beautiful kind of ruched leather trim here you can see it's just a really high class interior um, step up from the c-class um, towards the towards the luxury end We've got the amg kick plates on the door there very nice seats with the amg badging there we've got a little bit of alcantara on the shoulder rests there um, everything fully electric of course just climbing aboard we're presented with a very familiar mercedes uh, cockpit um, lovely leather trimmed steering wheel with your uh, menu controls here volume and phone controls here lovely aluminium paddles on the steering wheel uh, other manufacturers would do well to learn from that little touch it's a keyless entry system and a keyless go in the instrument cluster we have a clock on the left a speedometer in the middle with an information display in the middle and a uh, small tachometer off to the right we have temperature gauge in a little lcd display on one side and fuel gauge in a similar lcd on the other got your amg badging of course and you'll see that this car's done about 113,000 kilometers which is really not a huge amount so still got plenty of life in it cruise control and indicator stalk there we've got your air conditioning climate controls here again just a little step up from the from the c-class with the digital display there moving down to the infotainment again it's a little bit dated but perfectly usable and uh, most people will just use their phones with a auxiliary input so not really a problem You've got various other controls here heated seats lock and unlock and this one to put down the rear headrests remotely you have to pull them up again uh, manually but you can put them down remotely from there i think this one has got the seven speed automatic which was an upgrade in model year 2007 from the original five speed automatic manual uh, comfort and sport settings on the on the transmission there um, then you have your airmatic controls here this control puts it into two different levels of sport setting uh, which actually lowers the car slightly and stiffens it up um, and then you can raise the car up uh, using this button here for clearing speed humps car parking and stuff like that so i don't know what it is with mercedes and center consoles but they seem to go on these flights of fancy with designing this ever more complex system of opening so on this one if you pull the right hand switch the middle section pops open to reveal a small uh, section for your phone this is where your phone kit would originally have been installed and if you pull the other one it opens the whole thing and you've got a larger storage cubby down there glove box on this side you've got another little interesting storage cubby for coins there and your glove box is there pretty standard up above here we have a powered uh, sunroof which is really nice to have and obviously we'll slide back and uh, we'll tilt up as well so 
all the functions. So climbing into the back, again, very, very nicely done. You have digital controls for the climate there. You've got rear seat pockets. I've got plenty of room with me sitting in the front. And uh, even for, for larger people, you've got these knee indents here, which give you that extra inch of room. Headroom is not massive. For anyone taller than me, it would probably be a bit of a squeeze, but adequate, I guess. Grab handles here, little ashtray in the door there. Again, wood trim, leather, all very nice quality. Uh, you've also got climate vents in the B pillar here, which is a real sign of a luxury car, I always think. So that's nice to have. Center console, pretty standard. I think you've got some cup holders there as well. Again, Mercedes, crazy over engineering there. Okay, so now's the exciting time. We're gonna get this car out on the road and see what it's like to drive. Driving the E63 AMG. Oh, the first thing I absolutely love is that hood ornament. So rare to see that nowadays. Most of the new Mercedes don't have it. I think you even have to specify it as an option if you want it. But yeah, it just looks so cool to see that gliding out in front of you. And the first word that springs to mind when I'm driving this car is just absolute luxury and quietness and comfort. That air ride suspension really is almost magical in the way that it can smooth out bumps and just make that ride so good. It is so quiet in here, it's just unreal. You've got the subdued note of the exhaust in the cabin, which is nice, but not too intrusive and just reminds everyone <laughs> around and in the car that you're driving an AMG rather than just a standard uh, E-Class. So as with all Mercedes, you know, the driving position is great. There's so much adjustment. You've got uh, electric steering wheel adjustment. The seats have multiple adjustments as well. So you can tailor the driving position exactly to what you need. It really is a step up from the C-Class in terms of interior appointments and comfort and luxury. You could really cover long distances in this car with absolutely no problem at all. In the corners, yeah, you can feel it's a heavy car, <laughs> which it is. I mean, it's a big car, but you know, it's got four seats, four doors, incredibly practical, huge boot. You could use this every day without any problem at all. I mean, I have to say I'm a bit of a Mercedes fanboy. I always used to be a BMW fanboy. And then the first time I drove a Mercedes, it was like a an absolute revelation. The quality of the interior was just in a different league. You can see why some people are loyal to Mercedes for, for virtually their entire lives, because it is a brand that you can be loyal to and won't do crazy things like introduce ridiculous looking grills on their new cars, mentioning no names BMW. But yeah, this is so, so quiet. It's absolutely gorgeous. Quiet, smooth. Everything is just how you want it to be. Now in this one, the aircon is not working, which is a bit annoying. I'm sure they'll fix that before it's sold. Probably just needs recharging. But yeah, on a hot day, it's getting a bit warm in here, which is unfortunate, but yeah minor thing that can be fixed easily. Paintwork's generally in good condition. I did notice one little ding on the rear uh, offside quarter there. You may have seen it in some of the earlier video shots. The quality of the materials in Mercedes is always of the highest order. I mean, this is beautiful wood trim here. And the buttons and controls are feel substantial. They don't have that kind of plasticky, tinny feel that some of the cheaper cars can have. Let's give it something and see how it does. Whoa! <laughs> 
Yeah, it's quick. Again, with all AMG cars, it's like they are... Total Jekyll and Hyde. When you're pootling around town, it's like, oh, your grandmother could drive this. Oh, but when you put your foot down, it transforms it into this crazy beast. God, I love AMG. <laughs> I really do. Oh, tire squeal. Yeah, okay. That's pretty quick and fun for a four-door saloon. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. And these cars are so heavily depreciated now, you know, they're a fraction of their original price. This one's currently for sale at the Old Timer Center, link in the description. It's uh, for sale priced at under $40,000, which is absolutely crazy for a luxury four-door sedan like this with a 6.2 litre V8 engine. Absolutely stunning. This would be a great option if you wanted a, a family car that you could uh, cart the kids around in, go on holiday in, all the usual stuff. But then on the weekend you could have a bit of a bit of a hoon down the country lanes. Steering is just perfect as it always is on Mercedes. Not too heavy and not too light. Precise, good feedback, great steering wheel. Brakes are responsive and sharp. Just a real driver's car. Big engine, real wheel drive. What more could you want? As I said, this is currently for sale as of the date of this video at the Old Timer Centre in Rydalmere. Uh, link in the description. Uh, give Richard a call. He'd be only too happy to help you. And uh, you could be driving this fantastic E-Class AMG with a 6.3 litre V8 engine. Go on. You know you want to. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you'll agree that this E63 is an absolutely superb car and uh, represents incredible value for money uh, now in 2020, but still provides incredible luxury, incredible performance, and just such a great driving experience. So anyway, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like. It'd be great to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram down here. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.